What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my crazy subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, caps, moves, side, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. If you like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I received another channeling. I'm not going to sit. I mean, I, I didn't plan on sitting up on here all day and doing this, but <laughs> I mean, it's cool. It's cool, but I'm just saying, but we'll do it. So, um, I love you guys so much. Um. I do, I do, I do. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. Single mom and two kids. So it really helps support a single mom and two kids in one of her income streams. Love you guys so much. Okay, so the channel message I received was, um, 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 a person that has, um, uh, HIV, it's about to turn into AIDS very, very, very quickly. Um, soon and quickly. Soon and quickly is what I just heard just now. Soon and quickly. It's about to turn into age soon and quickly. Um, I heard they already have a decreased immune system. Um, and it's about to base uh it's about to basically take them out. They're about to pass away through many series of chain events. That's what I heard, basically, in a nutshell. Um you plug it in how it resonates. Um, it's really terrible. It's terrible, it's terrible. I'm gonna pull a kipper. Um, whoever this person is, I'm not sure who this person is in the universe. Um, I think it might be, uh, somebody you're connected to. I don't know if it's masculine or feminine. I don't know what sign they are, but it is somebody that currently has HIV in the universe. And anybody doesn't know HIV turns into AIDS. Um, and, um, it is a immunosuppressant disease and that's just the truth. So, um, it's about to turn into AIDS, and basically, I heard they already have a decreased immune system, and basically, through many series of chain events, they're going to pass away. So, you plug it in, how it resonates. That's really terrible. 45 and below. 45 and below is what I just heard. Oh, my God, so they're young. They're young. They are young, but I'm 39. Dear God, 45 and below is what I just heard. They're 45 and below. Yikes. Um, that's, I mean, I don't have any medical conditions, um, any STDs, any medical conditions, no mental health conditions. Um, but I couldn't imagine somebody. I'm 39 is what I'm saying. I cannot imagine a 45-year-old or below person, which I know people do. I mean, obviously, people, I mean, it doesn't matter what age you are. You can contract it at any time, but um, that's terrible. Um, I just can't imagine being so young and having something like that. Um, like I said, come from, uh, coming, me coming from a person that has no medical conditions or no mental health conditions, I cannot imagine having something that serious and being that young and then your life just ending because of the choice you made that contracted that and then um uh passing away from it this is terrible this is terrible it's terrible and i do feel it's a choice they made like i don't feel it uh i don't feel you know it was a child that um where their mother had it and it was crossed through the you know, the womb and all that. I don't feel it's one of those situations because this person is like a freaking adult. They're an adult. So they made it this long, just saying. Um, I think it was a choice they made with some kind of sexual intercourse or some or something else that contracted it. But you plug it in how it resonates. Yikes. Experiment to just you. Gift. Spirit message this year. Oh my God, that was strong. Change. Spirit message this year. Privileged lady.
her take one more spirit message this year. Oh my God Almighty. Holy crap. Whoa. Gift change privilege lady sudden wealth. Holy crap. Somebody is about to be rich. Um, but it it's not the person. I mean, somebody's about to pass away from AIDS. Um, I'm serious. Um, it's a somebody 45 or below. And it's a, be, give me, give me a mask or them energy. They're, they're, it's about to progress into AIDS very, very, very quickly. They're about to pass away. But it's not, whoever's about to be rich is not the, the person about to pass away because they're about to pass away. You can't take money on the other side. You just can't take money with you on the other side. I mean, I know the Egyptians, <laughs> I mean, nothing down to the Egyptians. And I love the pyramids and their process of, you know, <laughs> what they did and all that. But the reality was that crap still stayed in this lifetime. It did not go with the um, spirit of the mummified person to the other realm. It still stayed in the pyramids. Femi needs to hear that. So, <laughs> so what I'm saying is, I think this person might be very wealthy. Maybe one of you guys is about to get an inheritance. Um, looking at the cards, I think one of you guys might get an inheritance from this person or something. I mean, we've got gift upright, change, privileged lady, and sudden wealth. I think somebody's going to get an inheritance from this person. Let me see if I hear anything else. Number 17, 9, 12, or 11 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 17, 9, 12, or 11. It could be possible ages of children of yours or somebody you're connected to or... Um, that's what, yeah, that's what I'm feeling, or any, or any other significant number. I mean, these are young numbers. 9, 11, 12, 17. 9, 11, 12, This death is about to affect a feminine energy's life in a very, 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 very positive way. She has been left in poverty. And she should not be in poverty by any stretch. But through many series of chain of events, she's about to be a very, 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 very wealthy woman from this death. Very wealthy. Through many shocking series of chain of events. This is about to wake a community up in a huge ass way. Huge. This death is about to come very quickly. Whether people think it is or not. This person is in terrible health. And they are declining very quickly. Very. Oh my lord. Whoever this person is, I still didn't hear if they're masculine or feminine. I didn't hear a sign. Of course, spirit only delivers what spirit only wants to deliver. I have no clue. Um, I think you guys know this person. I did hear they're 45 or below. They currently have HIV and it's about to turn into AIDS. They already have a decreased immune system already, which HIV with a decreased immune system. I mean, HIV decreases your immune system. But if you have pre-existing health conditions previous to that, that are, has already decreased your immune system and you get HIV, it makes it worse. So I don't know what the history is on this person is what I'm trying to say. Like their medical history. Um, I'm thinking they might have already had like an immunosuppressant disease possibly before. Um, or their immune system just has gotten terrible since HIV, um, the HIV. How that resonates. But... They're about to pass away. It's about to decrease into AIDS, and they're about to pass away, and they are young, 45 or below. Um, I heard the community is about to um, basically get a huge-ass wake-up call. I don't think the community was realizing it was such a huge um, issue here, but it is. I mean, death here. I heard 
pass away. They're about to pass away. Death. I mean, death card, you guys. Um, I was hoping to get it out in here. This is something. I think the community is not, um, like, they're not taking this as seriously as they need to take it, is what I think here. Number 19 can be a very significant number in one's life. Number 19, coffin, death. They're about to pass away, man. Pass away. Um, but I heard through many shocking series of chain of events, a feminine energy is about to be a very rich woman. Um, she's going to be very wealthy after this. I think she is um, going to get a pet. Uh, an, I think she might get an inheritance from this or something of that nature. Somehow, or she's married to him. She's either married to him or she's about to get an inheritance from him or or something. Can, uh, I said him, but I don't know if it's a him. It could be him or her that's about to pass away. Maybe it is a him. I said him, but I didn't hear him. It might be a him. I don't know. Um, I didn't hear him. But my point is... One of you guys, I think you're about to defend the energy. You're about to be a very wealthy woman from him. Or him or her. Him or her. Whoever he, he or she is. Um, and the death is about to wake up the community, somebody's community, in a huge way. Fem energy. You're about to get a huge gift. Um, this, I think, is either property or money or something. I think you're either married to him. Or you are, um, or he put you in his wheel. He or she. Why do I keep saying he? I think it might be a masculine energy for some of you guys. I think it might be a masculine energy for some. It might be a femme. But I keep saying him and he. I think it's a masculine energy about to pass away. I didn't hear it was. But there's a, why do I, I keep saying him and he. So you plug it in how it resonates. I mean, you've got gift upright with change, 555 energy. You're about to be the privileged lady. I heard you were intentionally left in poverty, ma'am. You were intentionally left in poverty. So I think you should have, um, and I heard you should have been wealthy a long time ago. So you should have, I think this person, masculine or feminine that has HIV, is about to turn into AIDS. I think they might have stole from you. I think they might have stole from you in the past is exactly what I think. I didn't hear that, but I intuitively feel that. I think they stole from you. And I think this is their karma, them about to pass away at such a young age. Because they stole from you. That's exactly what I think. This is about to be so positively life-changing for you. Huge truth is about to come out in this community in huge ways that they don't want it to come out, but it is about to come out, whether they want it to or not. They have been suppressing and suppressing and suppressing and suppressing the information, but it is about to come out, and it's about to benefit you in huge ways. Okay, so fame energy, they have, uh, the community has been secretly, strategically suppressing information, I think, on your wealth and the money you should have had in the past. I think this person that's about to pass away took your money in the past, or they knew information on somebody that took your money. This person that's about to pass away is about to experience negative karma uh, in the form of a death. And I hate to say that, but it's the truth. I'm serious. Uh, but whoever it is, they're 45 or below, whoever it is. And, but I heard the community has been suppressing the truth for basically forever because they want you to remain in poverty. They want you to be poor, basically. They want you to be poor, but you should be the privileged lady. You should be the privileged lady with sudden wealth already. But energetically, you're not because your community has suppressed the information, the truth. Um, and I think somebody has sold from you. That's exactly what I think. But the community is okay with that. They want you to be poor. But you're about to receive a gift. Um, and I, I don't think a death is a gift to anybody. But in this situation, ma'am, I think this might be a gift to you because I think they stole your money. Um, so gift. You're about to receive a gift. I think this is a gift of the truth about to come out. The community, uh, 
has been suppressing, suppressing, suppressing it, but it's about to come out whether they want it to or not. So I think that's the gift to you, ma'am, which is going to create the 555 five, five change. And it's going to make you the privileged lady with the sudden wealth. You should have been all along, I heard. You should have been a long time ago. So your community were dirty magicians and basically made it this way for you. But through many shocking series of chain of events, universal change energy is about to come in the form of this death of this 45 or below masculine or femme energy that HIV is about to turn into AIDS. And it's about to create wealth for you and a lot of it. You're about to be a very, 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 very wealthy woman. Very. You're about to be a very, 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 very wealthy woman. Very is what I heard. So, ma'am, you're about to be a very, 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 very wealthy woman. Very. Whoever you are and how this applies. I think this person stole from you. It's exactly what I think. Or they know somebody that did steal from you. The community... The community and this person has engaged in some kind of cover-up. But basically, it sounds like the cover-up is about to be blown out of hell is what it sounds like. Um, because I heard it's about to come out. The truth is about to come out anyways. Um, I think it's about to come out from other community members is what I think. Um, that's exactly what I think. Because this death is about to be so... I think this is a prominent member in the community is exactly what I think. Um, I heard the community didn't take this as seriously as they should have i.e. this person's illness. But they're about to have a huge wake-up call and realize when they, this person passes away that it was that serious all along. Um, I don't think this person told people they had um, HIV, is what I think. Of course, that's their, their right not to tell anybody that they have HIV, but they still need to protect themselves and others, especially if they want to have sexual intercourse with somebody um, and, you know, gloves and protection and all that. I mean, you got to be careful, you know, you got to be careful, but now I don't know if this person was careful or not careful, but it's about, it's about to happen. It's about to happen. And this person has given many, 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 many people HIV through sexual intercourse. Many of them. A particular public health department is about to be overrun with positive HIV diagnoses. Oh my God Almighty! And this, this is okay. No, this is sick. Okay. Oh, we're getting too much in this. I don't want to go too deep in this. Okay. And this person has basically given a crap ton of people in their community HIV. So they was not responsible. I think with probably sex. I'm thinking it's through sex. I think they gave them HIV through sex. Um, but you plug it in, how it resonates. However, they gave these people, HIV, this person, this 45 or below person, gave these a crap ton of people in their community HIV. I think it was through sex, but you plug it in how it resonates. However, they did it. These people, I think they're about to realize they're symptomatic or they've already realized they're symptomatic and they are about to go to the health department. Somehow the health department is about to find out all these people have HIV. I think it's because, well, if you have HIV, you're, you're, you are mandatory. You, ha it is mandatory. You, uh, you have to report it to the health department. If free anybody doesn't know that if you have HIV, it is mandatory. You have to report it to the public health department for public health safety. For anybody doesn't know that. Um, and that's the truth. I used to work for the public health department, um, years ago for about six years. Um, trust me, it is mandatory, but for public health and safety. So, um, anyway, so the public health department is about to basically about to find out all these people have HIV. But I think it's because they're about to go into a clinic. They're ill. They're not feeling good. They feel sick. They feel down. What have you, what have you. But they're about to find out somehow that they have HIV. And I guess the clinic's going to report it to the public health department or these people come into the public health department or somehow the public health department's about to find out. But I think it's because these people are about to go into an urgent care. They're about to go into their primary care provider, about to go in because they're not feeling well. They're not feeling good. And through many series of chain events, through lab tests or um, x-rays or something, they're about to find out they have HIV, probably blood tests. But 
you plug it in how it resonates. Like I said, I don't have HIV, um, but I'm assuming it's probably through a blood test. I know when I was pregnant, both times I was pregnant, of course, it's been a long time since I've been pregnant. I gave birth in 2006 and 2007, so that was a long time ago. But during both of those times, um, mandatory screening for uh, HIV and other um, serious complications. That's standard um, when you go through your procedural stuff when you uh, for prenatal. Um, and of course, I knew I didn't have it when I went in, but I was interested in all the tests they ran on mothers, so I looked at all that stuff. Um, because I knew I wanted to be a nurse, <laughs> so um, way back then. So, um, and I, I'd already went to school for some of my prereqs and stuff at that point. So, yeah. So, um, well, no, not at that point. Not at that point, I hadn't. But, uh, but I was still interested in his my points. But I think it's going to be through a blood test. Is what I'm trying to say. I think it's going to be through a blood test. But, however, they find out somehow the uh, public health department is about to find out that all these people have HIV. And it's about to be connected to this person. And they're about to pass away. There's about to turn into AIDS. This is, whoo. It is about to turn into a public health pandemic in one particular area. It is about to turn into a public health pandemic in one particular area. I heard public health pandemic. It's about to turn into a public health pandemic in one of these areas. This is terrible, terrible public health pandemic, meaning all these people are about to turn up with HIV. But I think it's because this person wasn't responsible. I honestly think this person has a lot of money. They have a lot of money. And I think I didn't hear they did, but there's a reason UFEM Energy is about to turn into a, the privileged lady when they pass away. So I think they have a lot of money and it's about to go to you, is what I think am, um, through some shocking series of chain events. But my point is, is um, I think they were irresponsibly sexually, or it might have been through some other way, but they were definitely irresponsible in some way to give somebody HIV, probably sexually. Um, and it's a lot of people. So if they did do it sexually, they open season their sexual energy everywhere, basically. Um, and I don't think they told these people that they had HIV if they did it sexually. I haven't had sex in a long time, a long time, but I wouldn't have sex with anybody in my community. And that's just the truth. I, I wouldn't. I know how dirty these people are um, sexually around here because I've worked with a lot of them um, in the community. And I know how dirty they are sexually. I know how many, uh, I don't specifically know how many partners they have because I don't want to know, but hearing stories at work all these years and every weekend people having different partners and um, going to the club and getting different people and blase, blase, blase. And I, there's no way I'd want to have sex with nobody in my community. Nobody. Because a lot of members in my community are very irresponsible sexually. And that's just the truth. And People don't take HIV as seriously as they should, um, or any STD for that matter, as seriously as they should. And that's just the truth. Um, that is the truth. This is about to turn into a public health pandemic. I just don't know what else to say about this. It's just terrible. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. I didn't hear anything else. All right, well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.